interesting. Okay. Really? Oh, yes. Hello, hello, welcome to a new video. My name is Prithi and today we are going to be reacting to the shortlist of Booker 22. So yes, it's Booker season. I have done a reaction to the long list and now I'm doing a reaction to the shortlist. How many books from the long list have I read? Uh, three. <laughs> and you're going to see a vlog of that coming soon. However, right now in the next five minutes, the uh, shortlist is going to be announced and they're going to go live on Instagram for that. In fact, uh, some of my pals, uh, Kieran and Sarah from Freshly Led Books and uh, KD Books respectively, not respectively, but you know what I mean, um, are at the Booker Prize ceremony and uh, they are there and they're gonna announce it. I don't know what's happening, but I am excited. But before that, I thought I would tell you what my uh predictions are, like what I think is gonna be shortlisted. So I have like, actually like I've thought about it and even though I've not read all of the books here's what I think will be shortlisted so the first one is trust by Hernan Diaz because everyone is talking about it and like I've read it and I really liked it so <laughs> I'm just gonna say that I hope that it's in the shortlist um second I'm gonna say uh chats with the dead slash the seven moons of Mali Almeida because again I think that like I'm reading it right now and I think that it is really good also I think that it should be on the shortlist because it really brings to light um things that happened in Sri Lanka and currently with the whole thing happening in Sri Lanka with their crisis right now um I think it's a good time for the world to know about Sri Lanka and its past as well as its present. Uh, the next one is Colony. The Colony by Audrey McGee, I think. I think um, and this one again I think is a good one uh, I've not read it so far but everyone that has read it has either really liked it or just thought that it was okay but like I've heard good things about that one so that's a thing that's probably oh my god they've started oh no it's not started yet okay cool um, and then the other okay now the next three I have a reasoning behind it and the reasoning is that I am in India right and sometimes books take some time to come from the UK or the US to India and I sat down and looked at books that had come to India already right now um, versus the ones that weren't coming. So for example, The Trees is not coming to India for some reason because on Amazon is just like showing a still like really expensive sort of pricing which is like US pricing or like UK pricing or whatever right but the next three are in India already the publishers are talking about it slash will be talking about it so for example the next on my list is a glory by Noviolet Bulawayo because I just noticed that on Amazon it is available for $6.99 which is like Earlier, it wasn't available for that price. It, that's like an India pricing. You know what I mean? Um, and it's not a, like a US coming from abroad pricing. So my thought process is that because they are shortlisted, they will be at like, they will come to India. I don't know if that makes sense to you, but like that's what I think is happening. All right. After Sappho uh, came to India, Pan Macmillan brought it down and they're doing a lot of like promotions. So I'm like, hmm, I'm not sure. But also like this could be a flawed uh, reasoning because last year they got the island to India and that was long listed but not short listed. So this could be a very flawed logic. I 1000% agree with this. However, I just think that like it's somewhat sound logic and I'm just gonna go with my gut. Um, and... Uh, yeah, then is Maps of a Spectacular... Maps? Maps? Maps. Maps of our Spectacular Bodies. Uh, and that as well, a lot of people are really liking this book. I also just love the idea of this book as well. But that too has come to India. And a lot of people have put this on their uh, shortlist predictions. I don't know if you like generally 
follow like the bookish world uh, and if you see people's like shortlist predictions but like these like everyone has similar books on their shortlist predictions so those are mine i also think that the trees have a chance but as i said i don't know if the trees will be shortlisted because it ain't come to india just yet so yeah so th that is the books on my uh prediction list but now we just wait now what what it's it's 11 33 uh it was supposed to start three minutes ago <laughs> happening behind the scenes get on with it Many, many minutes later. <laughs> Someone just said play him off like the Oscars. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yes! Glory! Yes! I was right. Number one. Yeah! Oh, the trees! Interesting! Okay. I was wrong. No problem. Treacle Walker? Really? Oh, okay. Yes! Of Mali Almeida. Yes. Seven moons of Mali Almeida. Yes, yes, yes! Small things like these. Okay, the last one. Small things like these. What's the last one? The last one. Oh, William? Wait, what happened to Trump? I hope that there's been a clapometer to record that. What? Oh my god! Okay. What? Trico? Treacle Walker, really? All right, so basically the winners are, I mean, the, the shortlist is Glory by No Violet Bulleveo, which I told you uh, was going to be there. All right, then uh, The Seven Moons of Mali Almeida, also thought that was going to be there. Uh, then I was wrong about everything else. So that's cool. Um, I got two out of six right. Um, so basically the... Okay, I mean, I don't know. I feel like... I feel like the colony and trust was on like every single person's uh, shortlist predictions. And that's crazy. Shrekel Walker, I heard it's just like... I mean, I haven't read it. Some people have really liked it. Some people are just like, what is this nonsense? So... I mean, I'm down to see what they're talking about. Um, small things like these, I liked it. I've read it. I thought that it was good, but I didn't think it's excellent. You know what I mean? Um, so, okay. Uh, oh, William, I'm surprised by because it's like technically the third book in a series. Um, and even though they have said that you don't need to read the first two, if you are a bookish person like me, you would want to read the first two books and then get into the third book so i feel like okay cool um what else treacle walker i've said the trees okay so the trees my logic my logic was wrong that's cool uh <laughs> the trees is good i've heard really good things about it i've heard that it is smart and uh the chapters are really short and like gory but good um and yeah okay 
cool the rest is the seven moons of mali almeida i told you why i wanted to be there glory is like the animal farm of uh the the thingy so that's cool of of sorry of zimbabwe um and uh you know what what's weird about glory is that a lot of people have really not liked it um and there are only a very few people who have liked glory so i don't know i'm still very intrigued to read it because i think it's going to be right up my alley but uh let's see so that was an interesting short list uh definitely definitely not what a lot of people um had thought definitely not what i had thought i just got two right but uh cool very interesting uh i don't know if i'm happy with this short list to be honest because i didn't want to read treacle walker even though it is short but i didn't want to read it um and i didn't want to read over william either cuz like i've heard it's good but like i i have to read my name is lucy barton first but that's just how my brain works and then read over william so well whatever um the rest are fine i wanted to read trees anyway so it's okay um but the rest are sort of like nah bye so well i mean that was my reaction uh let me know what your reaction was i'm going to have to like really edit this because essentially while filming the reaction it's essentially me groaning to the literary je me me a speech that was happening uh because they weren't making the announcement and they were just like talking i will be reading well the short list um and vlogging it i think and telling you my reaction so uh look forward to that and if you liked it uh give me a thumbs up check out my other uh, videos if you have not checked me out before uh subscribe if you have not done that already uh cuz that would really help me out uh and yeah that's it that's it all right i'm going to go now uh interesting very interesting